I am Samantha Lake, CFMA's VP of Communication and IT. And today I am sitting down with Todd McDaniel, the Financial and Tax Administrator for Strymer out of Portland, Oregon. Um, Todd, thanks for joining me today. Thank you very much, Samantha. So Todd, in previous conversations, I have learned that you have previously purchased CFMA state tax law guides twice. So could you tell me um, what initially made you purchase our state tax law guides? Well, uh, back when I first bought them, we were asked to uh, get an estimate for some jobs in Utah. And uh, since we've never worked in Utah, we're an Oregon uh, company and we work in Oregon and Washington and we've done a little bit of work in California. I didn't know where to start. And so I bought the first one and uh, found out how to set things up with the uh, business license, uh, with the state, with getting our stuff with the... Uh, Oh, I'm trying to think about the uh, Secretary of State and then also taxes. And we know taxes are the thing that we really got to watch out for, but we don't even get to pay taxes if we can't get our business license and we can't get our set business set up with the Secretary of State. So all those things came in very helpful for Utah. And if you want me to tell you, uh, we have continued to be expanding. And recently we started working in... New Mexico. And of course, I needed a newer version because I wasn't sure the old version would have everything in it. And sure enough, uh, New Mexico has a couple of new things that have come about in a couple of years. And so we got New Mexico. And then all of a sudden, we got asked to uh, bid in Arizona. And now we're working in Arizona. And I wouldn't be where I'm at right now with uh, all those states unless I had this uh manual so in theory todd you could technically find all this information on google right well i think you could stumble through and find most of it i don't know that you could find it all because it's a great place for it all to be in one place and sometimes when you're going through things you think you've dotted all your i's and crossed all your t's and i think this is for me it's just I'm going to rely on it, not just my common sense of states I've worked in, because certain states have different things. Mm -hmm. And so as a CFMA member, you were able to purchase all 51 guides for $150. So would you say that was well worth its value and the time it saved you? Uh, I would say hands down. It saved me a lot of time and got me started. And I, I wouldn't do it any other way. I, if we were only going to work in Arizona, I'd probably say, well, Maybe I'll only get Arizona, but I know our business and because of where we're at and we're getting bigger, I'm not going to buy just one thing. I'm going to just buy everything because it's going to save me some money too. Perfect. So for anybody listening today who has not purchased CFMA state tax law guides, um, you mentioned it's, it goes beyond taxes, right? It helps you get your permit set up um, and establishing business in a new state. So for those who are on the fence or who possibly haven't, um, we've talked about, yes, theoretically, you could search the internet and try to find this information yourself. But what would you say to those individuals? Um, and maybe it's in terms of their bosses and expecting them to know this information. So what would you say the value is um, as a financial professional in having access to these? Uh, well, I rely on them to make sure I don't miss anything. Mm -hmm. And if you miss something, and you've got everything going, but you miss something, and all of a sudden they send you a, a bill for taxes that you didn't know you were going to have to do, like uh, sales taxes or gross receipt taxes, you're going to have to uh, answer to your boss, why didn't I know that? Mm -hmm. Well, because we didn't want to pay for it. Well, we need to pay 50 uh, What's it for one state? Uh, $50 for one state, yes. $50 is a pretty good deal if you want to make sure you got all your things taken care of. You don't get a surprise six-figure tax bill, right? <laughs> <laughs> six-figure, it could be worse. And then let's say it's got penalties on it, which you don't even get a deduct then. And that's going to also impact your bidding, right? Because if you didn't take it into account, chances are you've already underbid the job then. 
Uh, and I will just tell you, um, I've been doing this a number of years. And uh, one of the early, early states we went into, we were not aware. And all of a sudden, we had bid a job and we started getting invoices with sales tax on them. And we said, mm, no, we don't have to pay sales tax. And they said, mm, no, yes. And all of a sudden, it was like an 8% sales tax add to all the material and labor on the job. And it was a hard bid job. We can't bill for it. Ouch. I bet that was a fun conversation. <laughs> uh, well, I told uh, people we got to watch out for this. And, you know, yeah, it hurts. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, if we can't stay, uh, get our uh, all of our costs covered, then we're going to go out of business. And we certainly don't want that. <laughs> I don't want that. <laughs> for anybody. Well, Todd, thank you so much for, for joining me today and sharing your insights with um, others. And so if you're a CFMA member, uh, as Todd said, you can get one guide for $50 or you can purchase all 51 for $150. Um, and non-members, um, the price will be linked below for you. So Todd, thank you again so much. And um, our next version of these will be out next year in the spring. So if you are looking to expand to a whole nother state, uh, it seems like you guys are rapidly growing. You'll have a whole new set to reference um, coming in the spring. Thank you very much, Samantha. And thank you very much, CFMA, CFMA National. You guys rock. Oh, thank you. Have a great day. Bye.